this is Carmen and in this video I'm going to show you uh, the journal that I've made and uh, I was inspired by Gina and Gina is from uh, the Firefly Studio 67 on YouTube and she made a while ago a paper bag clutch and um, I had some paper bags in my stash and I thought oh we're going to do something with that it's a nice idea and uh, I used the same closure but I made it in a journal and uh, yeah you can see this has the same closure as the back the clutch and um, I used the uh, paper from Artimates I bought the kits and it's called the butterfly in blue and um, yeah um, I'm going to show you what I've done the closure is by with elastic and a button and I put a tiny altered hoop on there. I love doing that. I love doing tiny things. So I put, I resized a, a butterfly from the Artie Maze kit and put a little bit of trim on there and some flowers. And uh, that's that. And then when you open it, you just open it like this. So it's just elastic like this. And you just wrap it around and close the book and um, you see this is the just like the paper bag but I did it different my paper bag was too wide so I um, turned in uh, the sides a little bit and I um, these corners I um, um also uh um yeah I, what did i do i i turn them to the inside so you get the same shape and um, then i put the paper on here that's a4 and uh, cut these sides off and just um stitched it all around on my sewing machine i love this i think it's so beautiful look you don't need to do nothing no I only what I only did was um, I glued some butterflies on here that's all and uh, turn it around I put a paper on the inside that I also stitched and um, yeah uh, in here there's uh, um, this card that says journal and uh, this is from the old design shop on Etsy bought that kit and uh, the lace on here is from Esme this is the crafty me shop on Facebook I will put the link in the description box below and um, this tiny bow I've got from Cindy and uh, this is a, a specimen card that I've made and uh, I was inspired by Artie Mays and uh, I love it I love making these um, and I put a tiny uh, yeah paper in here so you can journal on it and you can just tuck it in like this so and this one is going here so this is the journal that I've made it's uh, one signature that's in here and uh, yeah, on the back I put an envelope and uh, also yeah it's all from the kit I put a card in here that's from my own and I made digital 
I'm digital from for me and uh, I put it in here I put a butterfly on here I love that as closure um, okay also uh, yeah Artemis so I um, closed it with a seam binding and very easily you can tuck it under here and then use it as closure because otherwise it's too bulky <laughs> okay um, on the front uh, I put also the paper that I stitched and uh, in the, on the inside I made a belly band I hope I'm frame yeah belly band and I put uh, a stamp on here that a postal stamp that Leonie made for me so I put it on here it's uh, yeah it belongs here yeah um, I used some trim and put the paper behind it and stitched it on the sides under here there's a tag that I uh, yeah put some uh, lace on top and um, yeah I used the postcard stamp that's in the kit and I put glued it on top of here so that's that one and on this side I've used a tea dyed uh, envelope and um, I stitched it like this on the sides and I cut because it's a long envelope like this I cut it like this and this in the shape of a yeah um, tuck spot um, and I put this paper in here I glued it in here so it's a see-through and this one is tucked behind so you can journal on here and I put some lace on top of there something. oops you can tuck something in here if you want or in the back in the back like this and I put some butterflies on here what I do with the butterflies is I made them uh, I hope I don't know if you can see it a little bit bulky a little bit dimensional and then I glue them on not totally but like this I love that um, and on this side I made a cluster and then you can tuck something behind there I used some lace from a stash and um, some papers and I put the butterfly from the kit on there and uh, it says one of a kind and uh, and I put this tag behind it with some lace on top there over here I use these banners that are in the kit and I put this tag behind it this one I altered I used some craft paper and I used the um, oxide on there the blue one and uh, sprayed it with water and it turns out like this love that and on the back um, I put a tiny do uh, doily that I have uh, from Patricia so thank you Patricia put a butterfly on here and this tag that's in the kit some trim and I used my uh, tiny attacher from Tim Holtz this one is vellum that I printed it looks awesome and this is uh, also some yeah place to write something down and also the back side I printed it both sides um, in here is an envelope and a vintage envelope I put this one on there and I used some corrugated board and uh, yeah a tab and it says dream and uh, the back is like this I put some uh, music paper on there you can write in on here if you want or put a picture on there that can be also uh, an option um, I made a tiny belly band I used some paper 
and I used the Martha Stewart uh, border punch, put some trim up, up top of here, stitched it, and I put a butterfly on here. And this is a, a card that I had in my digital stash. It's from the old design shop. Love that. And I put some seam binding on top of there. Love the color of the seam binding. Um, this is the, the tiny postal stamp that's in the kit. I uh, glued it on the edge like that and I put this card in there that's as ephemera card. And on here I put the tag on there and the butterfly and I put in a tiny ticket. It's also an envelope. When you turn it around You've got a stock space over here, it says C'est la vie, and another banner and a butterfly. And here's one of the um, pockets that that's in the kit. I put on here, it fits, yeah, like a glove. And um, again, I uh, used the oxide on here, on the craft paper. And uh, I made a tiny booklet from the double-sided tag you can use the tag that is uh, double and um, put some lace on top of here some twine and uh, put some paper in here that I tea dyed and some vellum piece of vellum paper paper and this one so a tiny booklet Love that. And then on here I um, printed some dig digital paper and I printed it on both sides and you can use it for uh, to write down something to journal. And the edges are, are, uh, are done with the corners punch from Martha Stewart and the butterfly is also from the kit and the tiny paper clip is uh, a Tim Holtz one this is again some vellum and this is I put a, a piece of a trim on there that's hearts and uh, this uh, piece of paper that is stitched on there and this is a tag that I've made sorry I'm not in frame I um, used a, a butterfly, a tiny butterfly punch and put a butterfly on here and some seam binding and yeah you're done so you can journal here and you can journal on this one this is a um, cluster that I've made and put on here um, this is all tea dyed paper and on the inside I used um, I don't know, wax cord wax cord and um, I put uh, tiny butterflies on here tiny beads are this and um, I got them from um, um, from Esme in a, in a swap in Happy Mail so thank you Han I, uh, yeah, I love these and um, uh, I made this tiny booklet and what I did was I wrapped the I scored the butterfly in half and I wrapped it around like a closure and then when you open it and it's not glued yeah you can journal in there very simple like that and on the back I have some um, flatback trim and here is a tiny tag that I altered from packaging and uh, put a flower and a tiny piece of lace on top of there and uh, on a pin and I put this uh, flower I glued it on there and behind this uh, there's a paper you can journal on and also I don't know if you can see it I made 
the butterfly a little dimensional i love that i did not not all but most of them i uh, made a little bit 3d with an embossing tool is it an embossing tool yeah okay again there's some vellum paper here and this is uh, also from the kit you can journal on this and it says wishes come true i uh, stitched it all and uh, put it in here and on this side is again some journaling paper and uh, yeah, you can use and it's tucked in here and i used again a paper clip from tim also a tiny one um a um another part of the envelope that i did like this and uh you can tuck something in here it's a tiny booklet and if i do it right yep come on yep I'll put a butterfly on here and again there's a same tiny booklet with the wrapped the wrapped butterfly yeah like this and then you can tuck it in like this again and here um i've used the tim holtz die and um i did it twice um so i put it um yeah i, I put two on one page and here's again the card uh, that I've bought on Etsy from the old design shop. It says Journey. And I put a butterfly on top of here. I altered the paper on the side. And you can tuck the tag in here like this. And this one maybe here. And this one maybe here. Yeah, you can tuck more in there. But um, I didn't do that because it became too bulky <laughs> um, yeah this one you can journal on and um, this is a tag and uh, also um, yeah from the kit and I uh, used a, a vintage uh, envelope and I put one of the pockets on there that I resized and I put a butterfly on there and um, yeah one of the um the oh my god the tags no oh well you know what i mean and it says a uh, la vie on the side oh tiny come fly away uh la vie on the side and a uh, tap oh my god and um yeah and in here is also another tag on the other side and you can journal on that too and an image from the kit and on here you can journal as a page and on here too here is a vellum piece again um, over here there's another stamp that Leonie made for me so thank you Leonie I love them and uh, I tucked in this ephemera from the kit and again this is uh, the, uh, the oxide I used, the blue one, I think it's the jeans one, I don't know for sure, oops sorry for the shaking, um, the other side again a pocket and I put the butterfly like this and in here there's another tag and another card that says right. In here I've used one of my tiny uh, CD um, envelopes and uh, I embossed it with a Tim Holtz uh, 3D embossing die, embossing folder, sorry. And I've uh, used the oxide on here and I love how it came out. And um, I put a butterfly on here and in here there's a card and uh, that I, I've used my... Uh, my dies for this and this is a stamp die i don't know if you can see it but and it says dream big and uh, yeah you can join on the back if you want 
and then you can tuck it in like this and if you want you can tuck in something in here so i leave i left it open <laughs> and uh, this is the last page and um i made a double pocket and in here i put a tag and there's a tiny price card on there and i put the I resized the paper and uh, it's a very very tiny price card <laughs> yeah and um, this corrugated board that I stitched on here and um, yeah this punch is from the we are memory from we are memories and uh, I put a tiny uh, stamp Postal stamp in here that I made myself with the butterfly on there and one who says poetry it's from the old design shop and I put a butterfly from the kit on there and in the back I already showed you there's uh, the envelope and the trim yeah so um this is um yeah the journal that i've made from a paper bag and uh oops sorry for the shaking i love doing this it was uh yeah i had so much fun and uh yeah um thank you so much for the idea to make it into a clutch shape uh gina and um, yeah if you have questions oops sorry the other way around if you have questions uh, just let me know and uh, i will answer you and um, until next video have a nice day bye bye